Read all the stories at homeoffice.studio and watch all the videos to get an exceptionally advanced, entertaining education. Greetings, Earthlings. I'm uh, working on a new video this morning. Uh, I wanted to do a, a video about uh, my video production workflow and try to show you all the tools I use and everything and just show you the whole process and probably a little extra, you know, my, what my, the tools I use on my computer. So I'm recording the video of me on my Samsung Note 9 smartphone. And uh, I, it works really well. I, I'm, a, you know, I'm happy with the way that's working. And then I, I'm recording my uh, the desktop on my KDE Neon laptop with a simple screen recorder. And that seems to be working okay. So I'm going to put that in the background by clicking on Kate. Kate is the tool I use for writing stories. I, uh, it's, Kate, you can write, you can edit code with Kate. Kate is a code editor and you can use it for that. And I do use it for that sometimes, but mostly I just use it for writing. And then, uh, Dolphin is my file manager and it's, uh, pretty cool tool. I like it. You can set this up. You have to set it to open with the d twin pane. And uh, you do that by going in here and configuring Dolphin. Start up. Begin in split view mode. So, and then that's how you get that set up to do it like that. And it starts up like this all the time. And that way you can move files from this side to this side or, you know, back and forth. And it makes it really easy to use. And I like it. And so and I, I have thousands of pictures in here that I've taken over the years, the last few years. C is for camera. P is for phone. And, uh, you know, and I have literally thousands and thousands of photographs in here. You know, some of these folders have thousands, over more than a thousand pictures. So I can just grab pictures and add them into my video, and which is pretty cool. And then, uh, so I got all that set up. When I make videos, the, this, this uh, simple screen recorder is recording in this folder right now. That's it right there. And it's just entering, you know, it's saving the the recording right there. So these are the tools I use. And then one of the things I do is I keep my, uh, here's my website folder for this homeoffice.studio. Here's my blog posts and my pages. And each one is a story, you know, each one of these folders is, is one story and it's got all the different pieces. Usually like this one here, I probably didn't use every single one of these. I just threw a whole bunch of pictures in here to make the video. And that's, and we'll use this one as an example. Because we'll go over here and we will open up KDN Live. I restarted this and I'm hoping this is gonna work because it's been causing, it hasn't been working right. So I'm hoping, I restarted it, the computer. So I'm hoping it will work this time. There's been, I use this all the time. Uh, KDN Live is a great tool. And then what I do is I open up a, a, an instance of Dolphin on this page and then I can take I'll take this one is the intro and I put this at the beginning of all the videos it's not a very fancy intro I need to work on that and we'll take these two videos don't forget to switch this and this one and we'll take a few of the pictures And that's probably, 
that's enough for that. Okay, so then we get in here and we put this one here first. That's the intro. Putting that in there. Well, that's taking a long time. That's the, we can put this one in here. Put this picture right here in here. This is just an example. So I want to show you a few of the things I do with KDN Live. And I'm not very good at KDN Live. I'm Right now I'm reading the... Uh, the uh, help directory, you know, finally, you know, I get to and I go over here and I've, I've been working my way through this. And it's fairly extensive and I recommend that you read it. You know, you read through the whole thing and just work your way through it. That, well, that's what I'm doing. And then, uh, So one of the things you do, and when you when you want to, you know, you can listen to it over here. So one one of the things you can do is you do this: insert a compass. Let's first of all, before we do that, let's do this. In order to split the screen, you know, a you can make a cut. Like say you decide that's a good spot where you want to make some change. You can click on that, okay, and then click on that. And if you one of the, I probably I didn't really do that the right way. What what you should do is take this thing right here and put it right there, and then you take this and line, and that kind of gives you a straight line. So you can, and then it, and then you go down here. And that way, you know that they're lined up pr perfectly. And uh, and then you click this to get back to this. Okay, now one of the things you can do is insert a composition, and, and that does that, and it makes this little square thing. If this red square doesn't show up, click on this right here, because this toggles it on and off. I found that out the hard way one time. I can figure out where is that, you know. I don't know. And then if you put that there, it's going to show up like that. And you have to click on that, select it, to, and you can just you can put these anywhere you want to. And there's you can do all kinds of transitions and things in here. There's a whole bunch of stuff. I, I'm just learning this myself, so you can do all kinds of things. There's transitions. You can move these things around. You could like for example, you could put effects up here and compositions up here this right here is your project bin where all the different things you're going to put in there let me see if this thing is going to work it didn't work last time for some really weird reason and i usually make a a, a square first because whatever you make first is going to be on the bottom good thank god it's working all right so you know title and I, you know it's just an example and, and let's make it well, is it too late let's just restart that you know there's a lot of starts and stops this is like the fourth time I've started this video cast and then you can move this up here well what you would first do before you do that you would move this over here let's say uh, no let's put this in the center actually let's center it and then put it up on top as high as you can get it because you know it's going to be right around in there and then you can put this in here. You know, and you just use your, you know, you want to get it, you can center it and get it exactly the way you want it. Put this one in just a little bit. And then you can change the font size. 
Uh, where is that? Well, this is the background. Anyway, let's just create that. You can adjust the font color and size and all that, and you can experiment, experiment with it. And then you would take this and put it right there. We'll just use this section right here because you can put this anywhere you want to. And you can set this to, so it'll just, it'll, uh, you know, put, put your thing right here and use the, Seem like it, you know, so that thing isn't working. So anyway, that's that's what you can do, you know. And uh, you can work on that. And then uh, here's your cutter. They call this the razor tool. And here's your selection tool. And here's your project bin. You can look in here and find effects, different kinds of like you can. Say you wanted to cover up a license plate or somebody's face or something like that, and you know you got that. Here's a bunch of different comp compositions, and you got to learn how to do this. I don't really know how to do much with this. I have uh, put, you know, pixelated some stuff before, but last time I tried to do it, I couldn't figure out how to do it. You know, so there's that's why I'm reading the manual. Read the manual. And use this tool and here's your audio mixer you know I typically put this one up here and a lot of times I'll put these up here like that that's one and two if you put any audio in, in number three you can use that too you know but typically I just put things like this up there and uh, there's no audio. And then another thing I'll do, like if I have a, the screencast that I'm doing on this computer, I'll put that in here and it will be, it'll have an audio track. And I would, uh, you can get rid of that. Like let's say just for, just to show you how you do that, you would un, ungroup that clip. And so that way it's not grouped. Now you take this, or no, you don't, not that one, this one. It's not grouped. See, this one here is grouped. If you picked on, if you pick on this, you know, the video, it also selects the audio. But now if you select this one, it doesn't do that. And you can select this one and then delete selected item. See? Things like that. And you can just do all kinds of different things and and you know and you got your this stuff here your effects this is the effects is one thing you're going to use in composition so you can like say have this merge into this and different things like that so that's the kdn live which is your main video production tool and then another tool i like to use is caligra Let's see, that's Office, Stage. And you use this to, you can make a, this, you can make a little presentations with this. And it's kind of a, Caligra is not as nice as uh, say, uh, you know, it doesn't have really good templates. You would have to make your own templates because this is the best one I could find and it's pretty not very fancy you know you could probably make a better one yourself and so make yourself some good templates you can put your bullet points over here you could put a little video right here you know it's really easy to do I've done it before and um, things like that and what I recommend everybody do is Get your local development environment set up on your lap, your computer, and then clone the source code for these applications. Like and Caligra Stage is one of the main ones that need work, and and start working on the software and improving the software because you know 
let's see, uh, Open Office Inc., LibreOffice, their Office software is a lot better than KDE's, Caligra. And so I recommend that we all work on getting it up to date because I really like Lint. You know, the reason I like KDE stuff is because it has all these buttons. And I know a lot of computer programs don't like buttons. They want it to be clean, you know, and, they, and, and all that. I, I like the buttons, you know, and, and there's a lots of different things you can do with this. And get, but it does need to be worked on and improved. And so, because we want this to be a very high performance you know, software that we can use. On a, and I'm sure there's, if you're a smart computer programmer, you can probably do a lot better than me. Another one that needs work on is uh, this one, country, you know, sheets. And it's your spreadsheet, you know, it enables you to, you know, build spreadsheets, you know, you got, and you can connect them all together, you know, for your business, make your business documentation out of this, you know, and work on improving this software. And then, uh, so you're doing that and you're making your videos. The next thing I do is I go and I, the, I my system that I use is Rumble. And I click on this and upload the videos on Rumble. And Rumble is not quite as easy as uh, as uh, YouTube. I use YouTube. I, there's there's several different ones I use, you know, to, so because I want my videos to be available, as, you know, to as many people as possible. And I don't know if that's the right strategy, but that's the one I'm using at this point. And so, and you know, I have Cloudflare, which pre present, you know, presents the website all over the world. You know, you can get it anywhere in the world. And, uh, you know, I'm sure there's probably some countries that block the internet. But So you keep doing that and you work on that. And, uh, uh, you know, another thing I do, you, you know, I go over here and I log in. You know, and uh, I'm on KDE Plasma. You know, that's where I want to work on getting your local development environment set up. Here's your system settings dialog, you know, and you can, this is all the different sections and you get in there and you can set your computer, your KDE desktop uh, to look really nice. You know, that's all this. This is the panel down here. And I just put my pictures, you know, I, I took this picture on the ferry. I was riding on the ferry over to Bremerton and I took that picture. This is a screenshot. You can use a screenshot, you know, and then all the way down here, I got a video in here. I finally figured out why this is on here because this is a picture. These are the photographs. When I, when I put the photographs in, they don't quite fit the picture, the frame. Uh, so that's why that's like that. Because I was like, going, what the heck? Why is it doing that? So, you know, and here's my little blog. And uh, so, yeah. And then you go over to Rumble and, you know, and I have all this here. And I can, you know, this is my list. And, and this is where they end up. And uh, Rumble's a pretty good system. You have to learn how to do it, you know. When you, uh, when you put up a video in here, just to show you how to do it. Let's put this in here. In, in order to use Rumble, you have to add em, Embed Press. It's a uh, plugin for WordPress. And you go to the plugins and you get uh, Embed Press. And there's two different ones, you know, but the one I'm using is, the, you know, this one. Because one of them, you, you know, I, I know there's a difference and I can't really think of it right now. But you put that in there like that. And then you go over here to Rumble and you get, go to my content. And just for an example... 
let's say no boys allowed and you can go over here and you click on this and click on embed and that gives you this and you can take that copy and then go over here and paste and then embed and then over here what I do with these is I do 900 and 507 that's I figured out that that size fits my website you know and then I would apply it see and so it fits the website it's not only just part of it it's the whole thing and then uh, let's just for the fun of it let's go ahead and update it here and where was that was it this one yeah that one no and then you see and it fits in here really nicely but I'm gonna go back over here and click on this then you can just click on this and remove block now the way this is when normally this was kind of floating and it just appears right above the deal but i kind of set it to stay over here and it's been doing that it's you know whatever but here's your settings you know you could add links and this here is telling you whether it's a heading you know what what's in here accordion item the accordions i've Got those accordion, I like accordions, and so that's kind of an interesting little thing I got in here. I got that in here, and you can go over here to your business thing, and I, you know, and it's got a, some of them got stories, not much your story, but, and then a video, and then it's got this, see, and this is all the different sections. Work ethic, and, and each one of these is a link. You know, each one of these is a story. So that's kind of a neat looking thing. And it just kind of adds, you know, makes navigating around. Of course, I got the same thing over here, you know. And it's So work on your website. Keep working. Um, the thing is, is what I've learned is that I've noticed, I should say, that I've been making quite a few videos and, you know, each time I learn one, a new trick, you know, a new little, I wouldn't say trick, it's not the right word, but a new skill, you know, like just, just knowing how to, uh, you know, this thing right here, click on this, makes that little red box go away. You know, one day I come in here and the red box wasn't there and I'm going like, what the heck is going on? Where'd that thing go? You know, and I clicked everywhere trying to find it. And then finally I tried clicking right there and there it was. So it's different things. And and just by repetition and, and making videos. And sometimes I'll just like, you know what, I'm going to make a video. And I don't really want to be really, I just have a story I want to tell. So I'll, I'll tell the, you know, I'll, I'll tell the story and I'll put a bunch of pictures in there like this. You know, because I've got thousands of pictures and I can just pull some bunch of pictures and put it in here and make a video, you know. And so, and you can cut pieces out and, uh, you know, edit and move things around. You don't want to get too crazy with that because then sometimes you'll mess things up. But it's fun and I like doing it. And you can, you know, build your little system. Another tool that you want to learn how to use and get familiar with is KDevelop. This is your uh, integrated development environment. You know, this is the KDE, integrated development environment. And it, it's a fully feature. It's like, uh, you know, uh, what is that? VS Code, Visual Studio Code is what this is. It, and it's the KDE version. It's probably not as fancy as, K, as Visual Studio Code. But 
like I said, one of the things I'm, I'm trying to encourage as many people as possible to do is to start working on developing KDE. Because one of the things I, you know, I like is, is uh, and one of the things that uh, I was using a, 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 a browser that has the, the it's like, so what this has is it has mail, has contacts, calendar, to-do list, feeds, journal, pop-up notes. So you can do all those things in here. Here's your summary. And it just tells you all the different things, you know. But mostly I just use this for the email. And I, I like this program and I think it's a great idea to do it. But after using this other browser, I just thought, what they need to add Falcon to this, and uh, Falcon is uh, let's just start that up real quick. That'd be the internet is KDE's um, browser, and it's not you know just like a lot of the KDE stuff. KDE has some of their programs are really you know the best like Krita and, uh, you know, uh, what's another one is Scribus and um, things like that. You know, the desktop is great and some of the applications are really great, like Kate. And the way this is designed, it's, it's called Kate Part. They have this system called Kate Part and then all the different applications are different versions of Kate Part. You know this like this browser it's all a different you know it's a it's like an instance like there's Kate part and then there's different versions of Kate part and Falcon is one of those versions contact is another one Kate is another one dolphin is another one you know and all these and they all kind of look the same they all look very familiar similar and you know and they use the same a lot of the same basic things you know you but you can add and subtract different functions and so this is the browser and um, you know and it needs work on it you know with the, one of the obvious things it needs is uh, it needs a favorites button that you can put on this toolbar right here and not have to add in an, an, another toolbar and take up space with a, another toolbar that would be one thing I would add on there as quick as possible another thing is it needs a developer tools you know it doesn't have that right now you know it's it's very lightweight fast and lightweight so that's I guess the advantage of not having that but if you want to work on your websites and stuff like that and you you know you want to use that so the KD you know the developer function here so and then here's contact and uh, you know, and you got all this over here, and you can edit and adjust things, set it up to work any way you want to. And the way I would do it is, you just have you'd open Contact, and your browser would be one of these right here. You could click on the browser, and this would turn into a browser. You could you know, and do all that, and you could, or you click on email, or you could click on contacts, or you could click on. Um, what do you call that uh, favorites? You know your th your uh, to your uh, bookmarks. You know have some kind of system for that in there in contact and just you know work on it and have your uh, system uh, build your website. You know, it just, and once you get going, and I, I need to start writing again. I haven't been writing a lot because I've been making these videos. Once I started making videos, I got into the habit now of just making videos. And I don't write very much with it, you know, and that's a kind of a bad habit I've gotten into because I need, you know, I, my whole point of doing this was because I wanted to be a writer, you know, and publish my stories. You know, there should be a longer story to go along with this video or something you know mostly sometimes there, some stories don't have any video and some stories don't have any writing 
you know, there, it's just a video. But I've got a lot of stories on here. The, these are the stories over here. You know, and I've said this before, you know, you want to start learning this and learn how to use your, your desktop. And then while you're doing this, you, you learn this. And this is your, you know, deep down in KDE and Linux, learning how to use Linux. You know, and here's your programming languages. Here's the Linux, you know, the, how the Linux works. And this is some of the new stuff, stories about different things. Then you want to learn your web development and how to do that. Here's your content management systems, WordPress. I'll probably do another big story about WordPress. Here's the website, you know. And uh, I'll probably put something in here about, uh, this story is probably going to go right here in this section, the one I'm making right now. So keep working on uh, your website and uh, it's uh, it's interesting, you know, but the main point of this story is practice. You know, just keep creating lots of content. Repetition is one of the best learning slash teaching strategies there is, you know, and doing something over and over again is how you get good at it. And that's what you should do. And uh, that's what I'm doing right now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and a great life and peace be with you.